In front of the famous Man's Chinese Theater, where hand and footprints mark the sidewalk, singer and movie star Olivia Newton-John joined the ranks of this American royalty by becoming the 1,735th person to receive a star on the Walk of Fame. It is my pleasure to bid you welcome today as we honor the beautiful import from Australia who has become one of America's greatest resources, Olivia Newton-John. With 11 albums, including Let Me Be There, Have You Never Been Mellow, Totally Hot, If You Love Me, Let Me Know, and Don't Stop Believing, and two films, Grease and Xanadu, and almost 40 major awards, such as Country Music's Top Female Vocalist of 1974 and 1975, Olivia Newton-John has proved to the Walk of Fame committee that she has been and remains one of the most popular and recognized personalities in the music world of entertainment. When you were a little girl in Australia growing up, did you always want to be a singer? Did you know that this, that Hollywood was the place where you would end up one day? No, never. I'd never any idea. Um, I wanted to be a vet, actually, and because um, I was animal crazy. Still am. Haven't changed much. But I um, wasn't very good at science at school or math, so I kind of passed on that one. And singing just kind of happened for me. But now. I used to do it for fun, and somebody heard me singing in a coffee lounge. I used to sing with a folk singer in there on the weekends, and uh, I went into a talent contest and won it. I'd like to keep making records, and I'd like to do a movie every now and again if I can find something good to do. And I've been spending a lot more time at home recently than I have before, because I was on the road so much, I thought it was time to slow down and get to know my animals a bit better. <laughs> Olivia, this is such a great crowd that's come out to honor you. What does this day mean to you? I'm still kind of in a dream about it because I never thought it would ever happen. You know, it's kind of like you're going to get a star on Hollywood Boulevard, but that's the kind of thing you, you see in movies, but it doesn't happen to you.